welcome to Kayla Jordan TV. Today we're going to be making carrot cake cheesecake. My second most viewed video on YouTube is my carrot cake, so I thought I would make the carrot cake cheesecake. It'd be perfect. So uh, I'm gonna be making that today, so if you wanna keep learning how to make these carrot cake wonders, keep watching and click the link below and subscribe if you haven't already. So the first step in making our carrot cake cheesecake, like always, is to make our crust. So we are going to start with our graham cracker crumbs in our bowl right here. Mix our sugar. And then we are going to add in our melted butter. Uh, we're just going to go for this one straight into the center of our pan. And we're not going to go to um, up on the sides and just spread that around. So we're just gonna press with our hands in to the pan to create that nice flat crust. Perfect, now we're just gonna set this aside and move on to the filling. So the first step in making our filling is, of course, we need to have our carrots. We can't have carrot cheesecake without carrots. And this used to be the worst part for me, but now that I have my handy dandy food processor, it is no longer a hassle. But first, I just uh, washed these, and now I'm going to just scrape with a potato peeler off the excess like dirt and nastiness and then put them into my food processor to make them nice and shredded. They're finely grated, just how I wanted them. Nice and fine, almost like mush. So it'll be perfect for a carrot cake. I'm gonna take this out and use about a cup and a half of it to put into our filling and then move on to our actual carrot cake filling. So the first step in making our carrot cake part of the carrot cake cheesecake is to start with our oil. We are going to put in our brown sugar and our regular sugar and then mix that together really well. So now that that's nice and combined, we're going to move on and put in our eggs and vanilla. this aside and then move on to our dry ingredients over here. We're going to add in our baking soda and salt to the flour, nutmeg to the flour, and cinnamon to the flour. Give that a quick mix. And I'm just going to add a little bit of a hole to put the liquid in and then combine it into there to kind of fold it in. And we're just going to add in our carrots now. So this is all good to go. We are all done with the carrot cake part. We are going to set this aside and move on to our cheesecake part. So the first step in our cheesecake filling, as always, we're going to put in our cream cheese. We're gonna add in our sugar and our eggs. And then we're gonna add in our vanilla. Give that a mix. All right, so that's just a little bit mixed at the bottom. We are going to scrape down our side to make sure all the cream cheese and the egg vanilla mixture is going to smooth together well. All right, now back to mixing. Awesome. So now we are going to build the cake now. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just kind of take this in half right here, even though there's not really a way to do that with liquid, but it's kind of half. We're just gonna put that the bottom of our pan. So we're gonna create a thin layer of the cheesecake. 
spread very lightly on the top because you don't want to pick up any of the graham cracker crumbs. So it doesn't have to go all the way to the edges, I just wanted to have a nice base there. So now we are going to dollop our carrot cake around and then we're going to take cheesecake and put some dollops on top of that. Then the carrot cake again. And then last but not least, we are going to pour the rest of the cheesecake batter on top all across the entire thing. And then we're just going to lightly spread this across. You don't want to do any swirling motions because as it bakes, it's going to do that for us. So spreading it to the sides to get, make sure and get all the cheesecake to every single bite so it's not a huge clump of carrot cake. You just kind of want it to be pretty even. All right, this looks really good. Perfect. Now we are going to put this on our cookie sheet so that the butter from our crust doesn't seep out onto our oven and burn the whole place up. We are going to just pop it in the oven at 350 degrees for 45 minutes and then leave it in the oven for 15 minutes and let it cool. So I'll see you guys soon. So I'm super excited, this carrot cake cheesecake turned out beautifully. Uh, I was totally expecting it to crack because the cheesecake on the top uh, has to go somewhere when the cake rises in the middle. So because of the leavening in the cake part, the cheesecake has to rise also. So that's what's creating these cracks right here, but it's okay, we're gonna cover it up with our topping and we're gonna let this set for about 30 minutes um, just resting and then 15 minutes in the refrigerator so we can give it a quick topping. So our carrot cake cheesecake is done cooling. It's perfect. I am going to take it out of the springform pan and take these wrappers off. We are going to now top this with our whipped cream, which will be linked in the video right here. Uh, if you wanna go wash that before you top your cheesecake, or you can use the cheesecake topping, or not use the topping at all if you're okay with the crack. So we're just gonna put that dollop right in the middle. We're just gonna spread this out with my little baby spatula. Just gonna make a little circle, not go all the way to the edge, because I do like to see the swirl of the cheesecake and the carrot cake all together. Perfect, so now for our last little garnish, we are just gonna put some cinnamon in our hand. I'm too nervous to kind of sprinkle it on top, so I'm just gonna dust a little bit, and then I'm gonna go a little bit so you can actually see it. And we're done. Perfect. Now we have our carrot cake cheesecake. Thanks for watching my video on how to make the carrot cake cheesecake. I hope you all loved it. If you'd like to learn a little bit more, I blog about the things that I make on my blog, kaylajordan.tv. So if you want to learn a little bit more there where I give like little tips, go there and you can also find the list of measurements and ingredients there too. So I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn the AC off? No, it doesn't matter. Uh, the, the camera won't pick it up. Okay. Yeah, the, the mic that's on me.